definitely a cutter and definitely six from JC. The DBS Morning News has been brought to you by Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League T20. Sea cricket played louder at CPL. Monday morning to you and welcome to DBS this morning. I hope you had an awesome and a safe weekend and you're ready to face off another week. Well, we have a holiday tomorrow, so you still got some time to break away again. Emancipation holiday. Let us tap into the news desk now. Let's find out what's happening there. Thank you, news desk. We'll be back shortly. <music> Emancipation is tomorrow and we've got a calendar of events that is throughout the entire month of August right here in St. Lucia where we're going to be recognizing some series of lectures. The actual day tomorrow is going to be that March. Um, Drinia told us all about it. Emancipation again, that is the word, that is the, the order of the day because this is where we're heading. And you know what, this is a, a day um, and a recognition that we need to start putting a lot more effort into because what it represents, what it means for us as a people. I mean, I have Junior Frederick here with me from CDF. And, you know, of course, around these times, we, we tap into the energies because we need to get there. But you know what? These are people and conversations which we'd be having year round. I, am, I want to say that um, emancipation is more than an event. It is a movement. Mm. And the three-year theme in kindling our consciousness is really to create that awareness and awaken us to our history. Um, really look at our present situation mm -hmm. and project our future. And um, there's a saying, if you don't know where you come from, you don't know where you're going. Absolutely. And I use that a lot. Yeah. yeah. So you need to know your past, where you're going, and you need to understand the context of why you do things and for what reason and why you should stop doing certain things because they don't help in the process of advancement right and so for this year last year we did the drums and dance ritual and we're doing the same thing again mm -hmm. so we're starting at the vg roundabout this time we'll come out a little later right 5 a.m <laughs> What time did you come out last day? Four time four. Oh my! I I wasn't there. <laughs> you didn't catch me at four. At so five a.m. and we'll be going down, passing in front of the complex, almost a carnival route, but not, mm -hmm. and getting to the waterfront where we have our setup. There'll be a ceremony, and um, presentations, mm -hmm. and uh, the energy of the drums and dance, it's really paying respect and a homage to those who who came and those we lost. And I believe there's a clear connection between us. It's not by chance that we are uh, on islands, but there's a connection with us and the sea. Yeah. And uh, it is believed that 40% of the cargo on a slaver um, went into the ocean. And uh, how much of that um, do we do we understand and we should respect mm -hmm. and pay reference to those who really will be standing on the shoulders of those people. And I'm sure you saw the brutal launch with the, yes. the persons coming out in the sea and, and that embodiment of, yes. of freedom. So on August 1st, drums and dance ritual, of course, some of the will have about three drumming sides as far as Beaufort, Tabu, Mele, La Foca, mm. Buit, More Fire. Mm. Um, I think person saw More Fire during Carnival, those long horns, and a varying dancers. And what we really want people to understand is not necessarily a display parade, but it's a parade of... Um, what I would say inclusivity so you come and get up and pay homage and put on your African way and join the parade yes and be yes. part of that and there's a beauty in starting the parade at that time and 
imagine you're coming down the highway and when you get to the complex you almost see like the sun Sunrise. rising and that oh, burst of day with music and oh. drums and it is that feeling and persons who were part of it last year would tell you it, there was an energy and that energy of unity that spirit of togetherness right. so we're inviting everybody come out come out with your children and it's only it only happens once a year mm -hmm. and it doesn't make sense to stay at home and and watch it from your television although yeah. that that that's an option that's an option <laughs> but um it's about togetherness and come and be part of it. So yes. it will happen from 5 a.m. By 10 o'clock in the morning, it will be done. And then in the afternoon, you can opt to go to the Freedom Concert. That's right. And which is the One Empire event where the committee is collaborating with Mbutu. So we, it's that understanding. And as we progress throughout the month, there are panel discussions. And on right. the same August 1st, there's the Emancipation Panel Discussion. And it's done by prof a Professor Mandrew. Man, his name always gives me difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> right. And Mantrap, and he is a professor of history, and he'll be really speaking about the connection between emancipation and reparation. Right. And uh, um, looking at when the fishermen came in, this is this all embodies us. Right. So I'm I'm looking forward to it, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to the drums and dancing, ritual, yes. the unveiling of the mural. Yes, the mural it seems interesting for me. I want to see that on yes. the 16th. You said yes, it's going to be the unveiling. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I might wake up for the five o'clock this time around. I think you I will. Wanna, I want to make. I will. I will wake up for the because I want to see that 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 picture you paint. Uh, but seeing that sunrise on you know when you're walking down to the songs of drums, that's that that got me. So I definitely think I want to be part of that. Anything you want to leave with the other, other viewers in in terms of partaking? Um, emancipation is a movement. Um, it's a movement, and it's an understanding of our past and how we navigate our present and it's essential um i could go on and on and yes. say i um a good friend of mine um was a historian and i believe that we have never really looked the trauma of slavery in the face mm -hmm. um, we have a little segues but sometimes when you recognize something you know what it is then you can move on and you can improve your state so emancipation is a movement and kindle your consciousness. Come out to the drums and dance ritual. Attend the freedom concert. Let's work together. Absolutely. Well said, Junior. And thank you for continuing the drive and the movement. All right. second feature we turn it up a few notches Ali Cat is one of our well should I say one of our favorite here on the island our creatives we had the opportunity of uh, catching up with him and having a little chat Alan Colomo is the name and many will know him as Ali Cat we will later get to, to find out some more about Ali Cat separately but we wanted to get a sense of the Alan Colomo um, Alan welcome yeah, um, well, this. let's walk us through it, man. Where were you born? Let's, let's talk about uh, Alan, the person. Yes. Um, I'm born and raised in Viewfort Town, Central Viewfort, the Mang, to be precise. Oh, <laughs> you know, I love Some people might know it as New Dock Road and stuff. Uh, I went to Miku Secondary School. Um, I have a 13 year old beautiful daughter, which I enjoy. Is that you one know, kid? Doing you got stuff one child? With, uh, you got one kid? Yes. Wow. Just one. What is it like being a dad to a 13 year old? Oh, what is the relationship like? Amazing. Um, I like writing songs and singing to her. Oh. Uh, taking her to school, you know, uh, seeing her do stuff, you know. I record and video everything, even if sometimes she thinks I'm. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks you're too much sometimes. But, I, but I, I just enjoy seeing her grow. And seeing her get to experience things, I mean, I see a little of me in it, you know, like mm -hmm. when I was coming up, mm -hmm. you know. Is she growing in the Viewfort community Yeah, she as lives well? with me, she lives with me. Right. She's, she's going to secondary school form two right now. 
which is another journey in itself. I, I, I like, um, like I said, taking her to the bus so she can go to school. I go to the school, talk to the teachers, and wow, very and involved. I do stuff with her, you know. Now it's important for us, you know, because mm. we hear so much about, um, uh, uh, on present. What is it called? They call it a word on on present dad, or you hear so much of these terms, you yeah. know, um, mm. you know, missing dads, or it's like you know. Indicating that you know dads don't often play. when you are a single parent, he's always a, a mother, mother. right? So, are you a single a single dad? Are you a single parent, dad? Uh, kind of, I wouldn't say I'm a single parent because I mean, I live with uh, I live with somebody that takes care of her, she calls her mom, which is not oh, her biological okay. mom, right? But then, um I still consider me a single mom because I mean yes, because her biological mom is not the one present right, with the like, with the upbringing of her. All, yeah. So wow, this is this is commendable. Months. You had her from six months. From six months, yep, baby, she's thirteen years old now, big girl. Wow, mm -hmm. this is so cool. Now. I want us to go there because, mm -hmm. like I said, lots of the time we hear about non-present dad in, in the life of their of their of their children, and this is not a a, a, a son. This is you and your daughter. daughter. So you have had to play that role, like you said, yeah. from 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 six months. You have had to play months. that role mm -hmm. of ensuring that you ground your daughter in things that she needs to learn and understand to grow up as a woman. Yeah. What has that been like? What kind of journey well, was that? It's, it's been a learning process for me, you know. I um, Sometimes I get help from my mom and my sisters to wow. tell me and show me stuff. Sometimes, you know, girlfriends, you know, who show me stuff. But uh, it's been a learning process for me and a journey, and I enjoy it so much, you know, learning different things, getting to do stuff with her, which is, this is what that calms me down, which is get me happy and in my space take her for KFC or go to the <laughs> beach. I love it. You know, little things like that and see her smile and that just makes me feel like I'm good. Oh God, I wish we could have met her. Maybe in the future oh. we will absolutely get yeah. to meet her here. Now, let me ask you, growing up in the, in the, in the Vieux community, now let's let's go there because mm. you are a product of Vieux yeah. In the recent um, months, Vieux Fort has had some quite some not so favorable attention mm -hmm. been placed upon it but i know you have played your role in the in the other side of you the alicat side of you you've you, yeah. you've you've played your role in that in that light as well mm -hmm. you know um, performing in concerts that was put on to create that sort of level back into the place as well um what what has it been like the last couple of months um having a child to be raised in the Viewford community. Now I want you to to air that because mm -hmm. sometimes too, sometimes the people need to hear it from persons like yourself who are yeah. product of the place to know. Well, listen, man, when we make decisions like this, this is what we are actually doing. This is how we are affecting, yeah. um, you know, the products coming out of there. So, what has it been like for you raising a child, a girl, at that? Okay. Um. Let me just tell you. I don't know if you are aware of. What really going down before? I I'm live. <laughs> I live in one neighborhood, mm -hmm. and I play karaoke on the weekends in another neighborhood, mm -hmm. and these are the two neighborhoods that are at war. Oh. So you could say I live in Ground Zero. Okay. These are the two neighborhoods that are at war. So when I go to work, you're when I'm one. at home, you're the other. Yeah, and um, I mean, all the children in the neighborhood, just like my daughter, we already learned the routine. We hear the shots. We lay down flat on our oh. belly. We we kind of accustomed to it. Sometimes this year she had to meet, miss a lot of school because when oh, when God. things got a kind of way we couldn't even go out and which is why I get so sick to my stomach, you know, when I when I see people make fun of that or use it for politics yeah. or just because for me this is life it's and life. death. This is you know sometimes when my daughter hair shots, tell me that you don't hate last night. Like she's already getting accustomed to it. Yeah, it happens so good. often, that is yeah, what exactly. that scares me. They're already getting so accustomed to it. Like you're living in a war zone, you know? Mm. And um, I try playing my part. I am a musician, I did song. I don't know if you heard the Before Rise Again song yes, I did. I did. And uh, there's supposed to be a peace concert on the 1st of August. So, yes. you know, in any way I can, I know a lot of the peoples that are fighting with each other, some right. friends because I grew up with, you know, mm -hmm. and I try and talk to them. I mean, you could only you yeah. know, say so much, yeah. and but it is really tough for for the entire neighborhood, not just me. It, it affects my music too. A lot of shows cannot happen. Sometimes I cannot even go play karaoke. Mm -hmm. You know, my daughter cannot go to school. 
So I just hoping I don't know what the solution would be. We've tried everything. Mm -hmm. Is it? It is. But we we've heard that there's been a sort of like a, a calm. Is, is there? A, there's, there's been a, a, a sort of a calm in terms of um, what we've been seeing. Are you? Are you? Are you up? Uh, optimistic that this is going to be something lasting. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, the the recent peace treaty they they, they, they signed eh, it looks different from because this has been happening for a few years. It only escalated yeah. recently, but this has been happening, okay. and they've tried this before, bring the guys together. But this time, it's I see it different. Guys, I never see spoke to each other. I see them hugging. I see them sharing space and stuff. Okay. So I am optimistic this time, and I. That's what I've been praying for. Because those guys raised up together, you know, know each other from little boys. Sometimes I wonder why those guys trying to kill each other. But now, I, like I said, the 1st of August, they're having that kind of like a celebration of the, right. the peace thing. Yes. And I'm, I'm going to go there, there and play my part again. Wonderful. So right now, it looks good. Um, people coming out, people going, people that couldn't go to other neighborhoods. I see them walking around. So right. this is what I, I pray. And I wish it would at least stay like that. Right. Drive the point home um, to those that might be viewing right now. How, how you and, and I mean from your standpoint, like I said, as a dad to a daughter mm. who had to be present in this sort of circumstances, mm. and how it is that it affected you mm. and your daughter. You know, in in, in your very own plea as well mm. to let them know that this is not something you would like to see continue. Yeah. You know, so you know you've got the platform. You know, De definitely. I mean, even the guys that in, in, in the war, and if they have children, they have parents and their family, they want to enjoy themselves and live like normal human beings. And what, what they're doing right now, I don't know how it started. All I want to know is how it's going to end. Yeah. How it's going to make Viewport a better place for our children, our parents, you know, the businesses we want to bring. I want to do my music, some people want to do other stuff. So this is not benefiting us at all. This is only benefiting um, maybe Lazarus at one of some of those from Rebel. Big up Lazarus. Exactly. Um, so definitely, Missy, we can do better than that. I remember how Fieldport used to be where we used to go from block to block and neighborhood to neighborhood and, you know, chill and talk and drink and roast. And I want it to be like that again. It would be better for all of us. Absolutely. promise you that. There you go. I, I'm happy you, you connected with us on that point because it's very important for persons like yourself who has a, a voice and a platform, um, you know, to, to at least try um, to let them know that, hey, man, this is, does not go well for us as well. So I hope they are listening and I hope we can see some, some you know, some sort of indication that they're, 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 they're understanding. And believe me. Viewford is a beautiful place. I love Viewford. You know, talented place. I love, love Viewford. I escaped to Viewford all the time. I and, could not do it recently and, it, and I, I felt bad because I exactly. love just and going down. That is what that hurts me when every time the news come on, the only thing you could see about Viewford. It's something negative. No, we have the best footballers on the island. We have those nice beaches. Food. We have talent, food. 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 <laughs> Let them highlight us in a better light. Not That's not all that should be said about us. You know, and if you're proud of where you're from, you should want that. Exactly. All of us should wonder. I like yes. it. I think that's the, 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 the good note to yeah. end on. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Yes. Good morning everyone and welcome to this morning's Soka Sai session. Leading the wine is Sarah and myself Shani. Let's get ready to flaunt with the Soka Sai's. For this morning's workout we will be doing a cardio Soka jam. Let's get ready to sweat with Soka Sai's. We're gonna step, step, tap. Look where we reach again. Four, three, two, let's have the leg up and four, three, now we're on the stage, eh? we're the backup dancers, let's go, twist. Roll it, hey. 
I don't know about you, but I'm ready for the road. Let's go. Roll it. Four, three, two, next side, stop, and. Four, three, two, let's have the leg, let's go. Hey. Four, three, left hand, and. Hey. Again. Hey. Let's go. Foot side with the knee. And. Four. Three. Now we're going to build on it. Add the arm. Up and squeeze. Hey. Four, three, two, let's go all right. Roll it. Roll it. We're going to the other side with the arm. And four, three, two, one. That was this morning's session. We hope you are feeling sexy, sultry, and strong. Have a wonderful day. And that is our Monday show for today. We'll be back on Wednesday. Tomorrow's a holiday, so we'll be back on Wednesday and we look forward to your company here on DBS this morning. Definitely a cutter and definitely six from JC. The DBS Morning News has been brought to you by Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League T20. Sea cricket played louder at CPL.